Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. In this video, we'll cover yet another important core module of Python standard library, which is Pathlib. Now, Pathlib is a module that helps us to work with paths in Python. So, first, let us import the Pathlib module by saying from Pathlib import path. We'll not be going over the complete set of methods that it offers, but I will touch the most commonly used methods of the Pathlib module. So let us set up a path first. So first let us create a simple python file and name it as hello.py. And here I will say python is the best programming language. And now to set up a path I can say path and use the path method set that to hello.py. And now let us print the path that we get to the terminal. So print path and let us run the file. And you can see we are getting hello.py. So our path is pointing to this file which is hello.py. Now let us try to get the home directory of the current user. So for that I can say print path.home. And let us run the file. And you can see we are getting forward slash home forward slash runner. And this is the home directory in which we are currently working in, which is the REPL.IT's home directory. Here we are using a REPL to write our code. In your case, output will definitely be different. Getting the home directory of the current user. And we can also check for the existence of the path. So I can say path.exists and let us run the file. And of course, we expect it true as the output because we do have a path. Now let us check whether the path is a file or is a directory. So to check whether the path represents a path to a file or a path to a directory, checking whether the path represents the path to a file. So for that I can say path dot is file and invoke that, run the file and you can see we are getting true as the output. So that means the path which is hello.py points to a file. Now in order to check whether the path represents a path to the directory, I can say path.is dir and let us run the file. So you can see we are getting false because the path is to a file and not to a directory. Now to get the suffix of the path, I can say print path dot suffix and this is a property so it's not a method so if I run the file you can see we are getting the extension for the file that the path is pointing to which is dot py and now if I say path dot stem path dot stem again it's a property on the path and run the file you can see we are getting hello that is it gives us the name of the file hello.py to which our path is pointing to. So here we are getting the name of the file and here we are getting extension of the file. Now if I want to print the parent of the file on which we set up the path object so I can say print path.parent and run the file you can see we are getting dot being logged to our terminal and this dot represents the current working directory in which our file is sitting which is this one in which the four files are sitting in now in order to print the absolute path for the file hello.py I can say so print path dot absolute and invoke it and let us run the file and you can see we are getting the complete absolute path for our file which is slash home slash runner then in the hurtful tail servers and then we have a file hello.py okay so this was all i wanted to cover about the pathlib module if you want to learn more on pathlib module feel free to check out the python official docs though i have covered some of the most important methods that you must know in the next video i'll go over the os module in great depth so if you like the video do give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel 
hit the bell icon for all the upcoming uploads and i will see you guys in the very next one